come to fruition. So um, in this example, if what we're going to do is we're going to use the table of values to graph this. So as I mentioned to you guys, the main important thing when uh, graphing this is to identify the axis symmetry. So we remember the axis symmetry is what's inside of our absolute value. We're going to set that equal to 0. So I already did this work. So I'm just going to kind of quickly state that this equals negative 3. So that's my axis of symmetry. That is a vertical line. So when I go ahead and graph, I'm going to go to x equals 3, and I'm going to graph a vertical line, because that's my axis of symmetry. It would be negative 3, which I wrote down, but I didn't graph it negative 3. Thank you. So 1, 2, 3. And I make a lot of mistakes on my videos. But usually, students catch. Axis of symmetry. Does that make sense? Cool. OK. Now, that is my kind of my middle point. I know whatever to the left is going to be equivalent to whatever to the right. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a shortcut. Well, anyways, I need to first evaluate what is the y value when x equals negative 3. So to make this video kind of short, I'm just going to say this out loud. If you plug in negative 3 in for x, you have 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Absolute value of 0 is 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So now I plot that point. So I go to negative 3, down negative 3. That is my vertex. So whenever you're graphing using the table, that's the first two steps you're always going to do. Find your axis symmetry by setting whatever's in your absolute value to 0 and solving for x. And then plugging in that value to find the y-coordinate, which is your vertex. Now we're just going to pick points to the left and to the right. Um, so I'll just pick two points. Let's just pick negative 2 and negative 1. Okay. So if I plug in negative 2, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. 2, absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. If I plug in negative 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. Absolute value of 4 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. So let's plot these points. So I have negative 2, negative 1, and wait a minute, what the heck? What the heck happened? Did I? Oh, OK. Uh, hmm. Yeah, OK. And then negative, negative 1, 1. OK? Now, you guys could also do the points to the left. So you could do negative values. But let me give you guys a little tip. Remember, this is the axis symmetry. Whatever points are on the right are going to be the exact same points on the left. Whatever points are on the left are going to be the exact same points on the right. So rather than plugging in all these numbers, if I know that the point directly one unit to the right, one unit to the right is negative one, then guess what? The point one unit to the left is also negative one. If I know the point two units to the right of the axis symmetry is one, then the point two units to the left is also going to be one. And if you don't believe me, just plug in negative five into the equation and plug in negative 4 into the equation. And you'll get 1 and negative 1. So basically, these points are symmetrical of each other. Or maybe I'll use different colors so you guys can see it. So they're symmetrical points. Now we just go and connect, and we see that we have our v-graph. OK? And that's it. That's all I wanted you guys to do. Anybody have any questions on that? Now, one last thing we need to talk about.